In this video, we'll look at how to create invoices with our reporting suite. I'll show you how to use Mail Merge and display information about orders that correspond to selected customers. I'll start with an empty application. Under the Project tab, select Add New Item. Here, I'll choose our Report Wizard and click Add. Select Data Bound Report and click Next. Then select the database as the data source type. On the next page, specify whether you want to use any of the data connections already available or create a new one. I'll choose an existing connection to our sample Northwind database and click Next. Here, you can choose which tables, views, or stored procedures to add to the report. For our invoice, we'll need to display information about customers and orders at the same hierarchical level in the report. In my database, this information is stored in two different tables, so I need to create a custom query and join these tables, customers and orders. And since our invoice will also list products included into each order, I'll create a master detail relationship between the query and a data view providing order details. Click Finish to create a new blank report bound to the selected data source. After the report is assigned an appropriate data member, we can now construct the report layout. Switch to the field list window and drop the required fields onto the report's detail band. To display a database field along with a caption, drop a label and type in the required text with the field name enclosed in square brackets. To create a copy of the label, hold down the control key and drag it to a new place. This ability to embed database fields into static text comes in handy for mail merging or creating a lot of personalized letters based on a predefined template. If needed, you can select a specific embedded field and format its value. You can specify the font settings for the entire report. Click the gray area around the design surface to select the report and use the formatting toolbar to select a new default font. If we switch to the preview tab, you'll notice some issues with how data is presented in the document. First, the text coming from the database does not always fit the dimensions of associated controls, so they're displayed on multiple lines. Second, the content of some letters gets wrapped across two pages. To fix the first issue, select the labels and in the Properties window, toggle their Auto Width, Can Grow, and Word Wrap values. This will make the labels increase their width to accommodate their content. And we can fix the second issue by enabling the Keep Together option of the detail band. After that, the content that doesn't fit into the remaining page area gets displayed on the next page in one piece. You can sort data in the report. For example, I'll sort the report data by the contact name field using the Group and Sort panel. At this point, we're ready to create a mail merge report, displaying information about customers and orders. I'll add Order Details. Right-click the report and insert a new detail report corresponding to the master detail hierarchy of the report's data source. The detail report contains its own detail band that will display order details. Now let's provide some custom information that's missing in my database. Expand the nested table in the field list and right-click to create a new calculated field. I'll change its name to Net Price and specify its expression to subtract the discount value from the unit price. Then, add a group header to the detail report. It will display captions for table columns. 
Select the detail band again, and back in the field list, hold down the control key and select fields to display in the detail report, including the previously created calculated field. Drop them onto the detail band to create a new table with its cells bound to these fields. Then drop the same fields onto the group header, this time with the right mouse button to create another table displaying field captions. To separate order details from one another, click the Detail Report Smart Tag and set its Page Break property so that every order is started on a new page. I'll also select the Master Reports Detail Band and use its Smart Tag to make the details of each order printed on the same page with the general order information. Next, let's look at how to calculate summaries. I'll create a few more calculated fields to evaluate various totals and display them in the report. The first one is named Subtotal. It calculates a sum product of the unit price and quantity fields individually for each order. The next one is Discount Total. It calculates the sum product of the discount and quantity fields for each order. And the last one is Total. It will display the difference between the two previously created calculated fields. Add a group footer to the detail report for displaying these totals and drop the calculated fields on the group footer. Right align the labels and cells displaying numeric values and adjust the appearance of tables displaying order details. I'll specify cell paddings adjust the size of the tables and make column headers printed in bold. I'll also add labels for displaying captions for order totals. Finally, I'll apply currency formatting to all corresponding labels and cells and draw a line to visually separate the totals from the rest of the order data. In addition to using calculated fields, you can also use standard summary functions. For example, instead of displaying the product ID, I'm going to enumerate entries in each order. To do this, click the Smart Tag of the corresponding cell and open the Summary Editor. Set the Summary function to Record Number and make it calculated across each group. I drop the product ID field again, this time onto the group footer. I click the Create Label Smart Tag and open the Summary Editor to set the Summary function to count and apply a text prefix to the Summary function result. I'll make the calculated function across each group in the report and click OK. I'll make a couple more adjustments to the layout and switch to Preview again. Alright, now let's look at using odd and even styles. 
To make alternating table rows, use a different background color. Select the table placed onto the detail band and in the properties window, expand the styles property. I'll create a new even style and define its background color. And switch to the preview again. Finally, let's add some page information. I'll add a page header to the master report for displaying the company logo and other information on each page of the invoice. Drop a label for displaying a document title. And add a picture box displaying the company logo. I'll also add two page info controls. One will display the number of pages for every invoice and the other will display the current system date. The invoice is now ready. Let's switch to the Preview tab to see the result. And that's it for this video. To learn more about our reporting suite, make sure to check out the documentation on our website or watch any of the other videos from our reporting playlist. You can also subscribe to our channel and watch all of our latest content. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.